was only here for about a year and a half and I'd been asked to meet with this lady, we'll call her Lucy. And um, I didn't know a lot about her, but I knew that she had um, lived in her car, parked at the West Thames Cemetery, and she'd lived there for two years. And her car had been destroyed by someone that had came along, so she could no longer live in it. And it was only at that point when her car could no longer act as her home that she had thought that she was homeless. So I was asked to go and collect her from the emergency program and to show her one of our, our units that she was going to be able to live in, in in our transitional program. So I took her over to show her the unit and you know I was saying there's the bedroom and there's the bathroom and the kitchen and the toilet and all of a sudden she just started kind of pacing back and forth the bathroom and the toilet and she stood in front of the toilet and she said is that is that going to be my toilet? Do you mean I don't have to share that with anyone? Is that, is that my bathroom? So I don't have to share that with anyone. That's, you know, and she kept, she kept going on and she was becoming overwhelmed, I think, at overjoyed that she was going to be able to have this unit to live in. And she was saying, I can't believe I'm going to be able to make this into my home. I see the skills that they've developed and the resilience and the strength and I think you know, what we do here so well is help them um, get in touch with that and be able to use that in a different way.